Hey, good evening, guys. I just want to do a little intro uh, to the video you're going to see here uh, today. Uh, when you do see this video, uh, we took a nice little ride to this farm uh, up north, and um, it was a nice place. And uh, some of you guys have been following us for a very long time. We started here on this YouTube channel. Um, my wife did. Uh, you can remember some of the videos of what this farm looked like and how we transformed it into a, a beef operation and all the hard work we put in. So as you go through this video, you can see, and we're talking a little bit in the, in the house and stuff, and um, it's going to be a journey that it's going to be hard to uh, replace what we have here, some of the hard work we did. But I'll just let you talk a little bit what your thoughts were. And So I guess um, my thoughts are, you know, I thought that this farm would be our forever farm, and I didn't uh, anticipate us ever moving out of this area, but uh, here we are. We gained an opportunity, and um, I'm glad to be able to take uh, you guys along with us on this opportunity as we go to um, look for a different farm. Um, we found one that you'll see here. Uh, we're not sure that this will be the one that we're going to move to or not, but uh, only time will tell. And. Uh, we know that God will direct us in the path that we're supposed to go. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this journey as we go along with it, uh, trying to figure out what life holds for us next. So some of you guys, if you go back and check this video out, what this barn looked like, we started out with Holsteins. Uh, we probably had over 200, 250 Holsteins and different times on the farm here. Now this is all Black Angus. Uh, these are all calves that were raised on the farm here. We had a large cow calf operation in the big barn. So, yeah, I I look at this and uh, the accomplishments of the whole family as we came together. Uh, Justin, the oldest boy, he's been a, a great help and uh, a lot of great people came along our journey with us. We had some visitors here uh, from, well, one from Germany and uh, you know, different ideas we came up with and stuff like that, but just the time I had to reflect today, and uh, it's not easy. It's not an easy process. There's a lot of stress, and there's a lot of things unknown, and I guess that's what makes farming fun, I guess. You just, if you had a plan before you started it, you will realize uh, it's going to change the day, the next morning, so. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, Friday of the day we'll know. Uh, more about it and, uh, and where we stand so uh, try to do videos once we get settled in another farm here and uh, we'll get you coming along and the designs I do have a goal of setting up a 500 head uh, feeder barn so that is going to be big in that area so uh, it's not going to be something we're going to set up overnight so We'll bring you along, and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and enjoy it, and uh, go back and check some of the videos and some of the challenges we had, and uh, good and bad. So, have a great evening, and we'll talk to you later. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, we had a nice uh, drive so far this morning, and we're up in this area just looking over some things, the layout of the land, uh, some of the nearby farms and stuff. We're headed back over to the property. But I just want to give you some of just kind of what it looks like in this area. All right, well, now we're coming up here on the road to the farm. It consists of 300 acres, and I don't know sure where all the ground is. And it's a little rolling hills. With nice views. Now, this has quite a few different properties to it. This is the main property. We're going to wait here a little bit, uh, and then we'll go up in the property here, so don't make anybody nervous. But it's a nice house, really nice views up through here. It's kind of what it looks like coming out of the driveway here. There's a lot of ground. It was in corn here. Um, this year, you can see a lot of corn stubble, but this up here coming as a part of the farm too, with the grain bins and stuff. Nice big fields over there. I 
All right, we're coming back up to the house here again. So we're gonna go in the house, look around. Um, we'll do a video here for just the members of the channel and stuff inside the house for now, and then we'll add it later. I'm not sure what you guys can see, but look at those views. Some of the farm is in the crep back here yet, but that's coming out. A lot of nice acreage. Stairs here a little bit. This is the property we have to do a big addition onto it for our family, but here's another bedroom for one of the boys. I just can't get over those views. This would be a girls' room over here. Gorgeous views. All right, guys. Well, we're just kind of going through the neighborhood and see what the different farms are in the area. And then we're going to head back home. A lot of nice farms in this area. I'll just give you some little bit of what goes on up here. There's some nice stuff, and then there's some stuff that ran down. And... So we won't know anything until Friday, and um, kind of keep our fingers crossed and see how things work out. We have an elk farm here on the left. Pretty interesting. I don't know if you can see some of the elk there or not. Down in there. A big one down there. Boy, I love the sound of elk in the morning when they call. So all the land on the left here goes with it. It does have a set of grain bins on both sides of the road. All the kids up here and Michelle head off today too so we got to see everything together. 